D-Day, a titanic invasion and one of the greatest logistical operations in human history. On June 6, 1944, the United Nations Alliance, led by the Big Three, Great Britain, the Soviet Union, and the United States, kick off a concerted offensive to break open a new front in the war in Europe. By May 1944, right, after the Soviet victories of the winter and the early spring, the German defenses in the East have shortened and have hardened. So the plan is to carry out the biggest pincer movement in military history. It calls for Operation Bagration in the East to destroy the German forces in the center and break into the Axis nations. Operation Overlord in the West is to finally open a serious second front in Western Europe and march on the heartland of the Nazi German Reich. The starting shot must be the Western Allies invading and establishing a defensible beachhead from which to supply and expand their armies and their positions. For this, they will execute Operation Neptune, a gigantic combined operation with men dropping in from the skies and an amphibious invasion on the coast of Normandy, running on the mighty wheels, hulls, wings, and arms of the latest technological achievements, marvels of the time. In hindsight, it might look like a foregone conclusion, but as the summer of 1944 approaches, Operation Neptune, D-Day, is seen as anything but a sure bet. On May the 1st, American General George Patton, sidelined for misconduct during the invasion of Sicily last year, tells his boss, Supreme Commander of the Allied Expeditionary Force, Dwight Eisenhower, this attack is badly planned and on too narrow a front and may result in an anzio, especially if I am not there. British Air Marshal Trafford Lee Mallory, the man ultimately responsible for coordinating the aerial landings, himself doesn't truly believe in success, predicting casualties above 70%. Even British Prime Minister Winston Churchill has serious doubts and would prefer an invasion through the Eastern Mediterranean and through the Balkans rather than straight into Adolf Hitler's Atlantic Wall of Defense. And in Moscow, Joseph Stalin is so doubtful of success in the West that he refuses the planned parallel launch of Operation Bagration until he sees for himself that Neptune has succeeded and Overlord is proceeding as it should. On June 6, 2023, in a continuous 24-hour online broadcast, we will show you how these doubts were swept aside and Eisenhower's forces broke through the enemy defensive lines in one of the most spectacular 24 hours in military and human history. Now, this brings me to why I am filming here in my home in Stockholm in 2023 and not from my war room in 1944. See, I just got from Munich after an excellent 80 hour week of filming and writing for D-Day. Sparty and I spent all our waking hours going over endless sources and writing tens of thousands of words and then filming it. Uh, Astrid and Marek, well, they teamed up and they pretty much moved into the studio together to make it happen. Irina and her team of editors were cutting footage together nonstop and digging for new archival film. So when I got back to Stockholm, I got a call from Ian, whom many of you have actually met in person, telling me that our last commercial sponsor lead for our D-Day pro project, project is not going to work out. See, here's the thing. We're releasing all 24 hours separately on the D-Day 24 hours channel and releasing the whole show in two 12 hour videos here. If we suddenly had 24 videos in the middle of our videos list here, I can see it being really confusing, annoying and off-putting for new viewers or for anyone who's trying to go through our content. But sponsors do not care about the length of a video, whether it's six minutes long or six hours long. It's still just one video and sponsors don't want to sponsor videos on a brand new channel with 25,000 subscribers and no videos on it. They want to sponsor videos on the channel with 800,000 subscribers and 150 million views. They also want exclusivity and do not understand that a 12 hour video is not just another video. So no commercial sponsors. And no, whatever happens, we are not going to compromise what we do. And what we are doing is creating a lasting resource that keeps the memory of the world on June 6 alive as it unfolded, as a 24 hour event that had an impact on all fronts of this war, on all aspects of the war, on everyone in the world. And we're doing it for everyone. It, you know, pretty much every time we upload a video, at least one of you, 
many of you sometimes, leaves a comment sharing your family's or your friend's personal story from the war. Well, that's why we make all these videos and these series when it comes down to it, for our collective parents, grandparents, friends, and relatives whose lives were touched during humanity's darkest or greatest moments. The D-Day project is a huge undertaking, and with only three weeks to go and no sponsors, we are asking you to raise 50,000 in one-time contributions to finish the writing, the filming, the editing, to pay for the archival footage, the maps, the rest of the project. It's crowdfunding at the end instead of the beginning, if you will. A bunch of you have asked us actually about making a one-time contribution. We've opened a page where you can do that. The link is down below or right here, I'm assuming. So feel free to pass the hat. Ask a friend who watches us as well. Contact a veterans association or remembrance group you think would be interested. We do have some tokens of our gratitude, of course, like, like adding your name to the credits, access to our exclusive live chat when you can talk to everyone here on June 6 when we premiere. This project will be the most detailed series we've ever made. It has to be because it exists not just for entertainment, but for all the people of the world everywhere who stood by their radios that day, all day long, to be there for a breakthrough against the enemies of humanity. And for those men on the beaches and in the skies who made it happen. It has to be that great, and it has to be finished. See you soon.